Yeah, it's fun ways out there for sure. So, it's a pretty sky. It's a pretty sky back there behind me. Out here in the backyard cutting some wood for some frames. It's Tuesday and uh, I just had a three day weekend, which was good. Good three day weekend. But uh, man, you know, while today I'm feeling really good, had a great time teaching. Uh, I've been working on, working on some projects since I got back home. I was not feeling it um, this weekend at all. Uh, and I, did, I wasn't really aware of that until after the weekend was over. But you know, my girls were with their mom this weekend, which is fantastic, awesome. That's super important. Um, but still, you need to miss your kids. And just some other stuff. Uh, just had me feeling untethered, whatever. And like, and I really leaned into doing stuff that wasn't that productive, you know. Like, I mean, productive. I did some. I, did, I made some stuff. I had a good weekend. Did, did some neat things with some neat people. Um, I stayed up too late, you know. One day I rode my bike all day. I kind of got behind on some projects, and so you know, today, um, it's Tuesday. I'm like, I'm like back to, you know, not 100%, but close to it. And I'm thinking like, man, I was like 75, 80. I just was not full speed. Um, you know, that's okay. I think it's important to, to be kind to yourself. Some, sometimes it's just not. Some days, some weekends, some weeks. Shoot, man, some years. You're just not there. And then that's all right. It's part of the process. It's part of being a human being not something to knock yourself around about, so it's important. Remember those, remember that when you're in one of those spaces. And sometimes you're not aware of that you're in one of those spaces until you're out of one of those spaces. Um, life is tricky, but uh, I feel very blessed. So anyways, Tuesday, feeling good. Mm. All right, I'm gonna cut some cut apart this uh, two by two, two one by two. And cut those one by twos into uh, framework. It's gonna be amazing. So I got a commission to do some lettering on this guitar. The guy who, whose it is, I guess this is a Mexican uh, Telecaster from Fender. It had some kind of, um, the coating was, that shit. I'm excited. Which one to put on the truck? I just don't. Hey, folks, what's up? 
Hope you're having a good Friday. Just got back from work. Listen to Billy Strings. So good. Um, check my mail. It's one of those days I really I don't really check my mail. But look at this. Boom. New Surfer Magazine in the mail. It's good stuff. Super stoked. But what I'm really excited about is this. Boom. Caroline Pond. I got your stickers. Caroline Pond's a good friend of mine. An amazing fiddle player. Um, we did a podcast together uh, a couple weeks ago. So, check that out. Over the Counter Culture is the name of the podcast. You can find it on all the platforms. Caroline Pond is fantastic. She lives in Hawaii. And uh, so, she mailed me some stickers. She made herself. Alright folks, I'm putting together this frame and if anyone's wondering how it happens or wants to make frames, I can't recommend enough this tool. It's a, so it's this all this is strap that's spooled up and you got these corners. You put your frame together, glue it, and then put the corners on the corners. Use this to tighten it and it just locks the whole thing down. Then, get yourself a nail gun and this pancake compressor. Nail that sucker in place. You take the strap off, let the glue dry. Voila! Super fast. I used to have uh, four uh, clamps or vices I put in each corner, but it took forever. So, this is way faster. Good stuff. Gotta say thanks to Shane Westerman for uh, the heads up on this. You don't throw sand in people's faces. Yeah, I know, but don't throw sand in people's faces. <clears throat> What's up, folks? It's uh, mid-February. Here at Hannah Park. Waves are really good today. It's uh, Sunday, so kind of looking back at the week. It's been an interesting week. Uh, the main thing I've been working on is a drawing for this guy's commission. And I've always done prints. My first time I've ever done a drawing, which has been out of my comfort zone, and uh, mostly because the um, when I make prints, there's that that filter between the finished product and like my drawing. Uh, when I just doing a drawing, I feel more exposed. So, and I love the process of printing. I also like to draw. Uh, 
Oh, it's been it's been a really good exercise and stretching my creative comfort zone. But uh, yeah, great week. Teaching some art, playing some tunes. Got uh, Yoga Nidra tonight with Shannon. Playing music there at Bella, Bella Vila. And uh, yeah, that's good stuff. You.